Hello everyone. In this video, we will simplify complex numbers and this is the first part. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review on complex numbers. <laughs> complex numbers are numbers that can be expressed in standard form a plus bi, our a part here is the real part, the bi part here is the imaginary part. Further, a and b are real numbers and i represents imaginary units satisfying the equation i squared is equal to negative 1. Okay, going back to the example right here, we're supposed to simplify this expression right here in standard form. Again, the standard form for complex number is a plus bi. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can simplify complex numbers. The first step is to multiply the given expression with its conjugate. Now remember that in order that we can get the conjugate of a given complex number, we are supposed to switch the sign of the bi part. So in this problem right here, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite this. Again, in the first step, we're supposed to multiply the given expression by its conjugate. So in this problem right here, since this is an i, remember it, we switch the sign of the bi part. So pretty much this is one i, but then the one becomes invisible. So then I can go ahead and multiply both the numerator and the denominator by a negative i. So I switch the sign of the bi part. So this is a negative i right here. Now in the second um, expression that we have here, again, I'm going to multiply the complex conjugate of this um, expression. To get that complex conjugate, we switch the sign of the bi part of the denominator. So that would be a negative 2i. So this would be 1 minus 2i. And I will multiply the top as well by that conjugate. So that is 1 minus 2i. So then from here, we are going to simplify this. We start with this. Since this is one term right here, we can distribute the um, negative i to each of the terms inside the parentheses, and this would come out a negative 4i because you have a negative i times 4 is negative 4i, and then this is a minus 2i squared because you have a 2i times negative i is a negative 2i squared, and that is over, we multiply this, i times negative i squared is a negative i i times negative i is a negative i squared. And so this is uh, this is going to be added by. Now we're going to multiply these two together. So I'm going to show the work up here. So this is for the for this one, so the numerator of that one. So we're going to use a 2 by 2 box for this. Okay, so what I did was I um, write the 3 minus 5i and then 1 minus 2i. And then we're going to multiply this. So 1 times 3 would be 3. This would come out a negative 6i. And then this is a negative 5i. And this one right here is a 10i squared. So then we are going to simplify this. This would come out 3. And then we add these two together. So negative 6i plus negative 5i is a negative 11i plus 10i squared. So that's going to be a plus 10i squared. Now we remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So then we go ahead and plug that in here. So this would come out 3 minus 11i plus 10 times, again, um, i squared is negative 1. So then this would come out 3 minus 11i minus 10. And so we can simplify this some more. We combine like terms. So this th constants here, that's 3 minus 10 is equal to negative 7 minus 11i. So this numerator right here, all of these, we've shown the work right here, this would come out negative 7 minus 11i over. Then we are going to use the um, area model again for the uh, bottom right here. So I'm going to show the work uh, down here. So 
So the leftover would be one, and then that's the one right there. So negative two i plus two i is a zero. So pretty much we can cross these two out. And then we're left with minus four i squared. Now remember that i squared is equal to negative one, so then we can go ahead and rewrite this as one minus four, and then put in the negative one right here. So negative four times negative one is a positive four, so that's one plus four, so the answer to this one is five, and so that's the denominator right here, so I write five. So the next thing that we're going to do is to simplify this some more. We remember that i squared is equal to negative one, so we can plug that in here, so both of these, so this equation would come out. Okay, so I plugged in negative one to i squared, and then we still have to write the rest of them here. Okay, simplifying this some more, so we have um, negative 4i, negative times a negative will become a positive. So this would come out a plus two, and then that's over, negative of a negative is a positive one, and then that's a plus, um, we just write it out. Okay, since we are supposed to add these two together, and as you can see, they don't have the same denominator, so that means we can't add them together. So what are we gonna do is we are, we're supposed to make the denominators the same. We can do that by multiplying, since we already have five here and this is one, we need to make this into five. So then we go ahead and multiply both the numerator and the denominator by five, and then that's over five. So then we are going to distribute this five to each of the terms inside of this. So then we go ahead and show the work on the side right here. So this would come out, that's gonna be five times negative four i is negative 20 i plus 10, because you have a five times two is 10, and that's over, that's gonna be five times one is five, and then we're gonna um, just copy this one right here. Okay, so as you can see, both of them have the same denominator. So then we can go ahead and write a common denominator for both of these, which is five. So then I'm just gonna rewrite that right here. So that's a negative uh, 20i plus 10, that's from the first fraction. And then plus the second fraction would be negative seven minus 11i. So then from here, I distribute the uh, plus sign right here to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So then this would come out negative 20i plus 10, then that is a minus seven, and that's a minus 11i, and that is over five. So then from here, we can simplify this some more. We can combine like terms. So we can combine the constant first, so that is 10, minus seven is three, so I can go ahead and write three, and then we have to combine the other one as well, which would be the negative 20i plus negative 11i would be equal to negative 31i. And then from here, we can go ahead and have the denominator, common denominator of five. So then we remember that five is actually a denominator of both three and the negative 31i. So then we can go ahead and simplify this to be, so I can just go ahead and write that down here. So that is three over five. So this is the uh, a part. And then we have a minus. And then remember that this five is also the denominator of 31i. So this is 31i over five. So this is, the sum of these two complex numbers right there. So as you can see, this is already in standard form. This is our A and this is the BI part. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.